Okay guys, so we're going to be talking about linear variax today. Uh, they're pretty rare. This is probably um, a first I've ever had. Pretty sure of that. Yeah, I've only had the rotary ones like this one over here before. That's one I restored a few years ago. And this one I picked up um, just before Cambridge Tesafon. I picked it up in a place near Cambridge. So I did it all in one hit. So yeah, that was quite handy. And yeah, it's a 15 amp Burko Regavolt. Variac. It's a linear, so yeah, it, instead of it going round and round like the other one does, this one goes all the way from the left to the right, 0 to 100 percent. This one, so yeah, 15 amps, 0 to 250 volts is rated for. So very cool. Uh, needs a bit of work done to it. It's pretty much full of dust, as you can see. If I just pop this off here. Yeah, it came from a woodworking shop. The guy was using it for his uh, his woodworking machines. So, as you imagine, it gets full of dust in doing that. So, yeah, he's got uh, pine, mahogany, beech, all the different types of wood in there. <laughs> Covered over all of it. And, yeah, as you can see, we've got the brush here. And then we've got the chain that goes back around. And that's linked in with the, the handle there. So it will travel with the chain all the way from 0 to 50 right up to 100. This doesn't have an overwind on it, there's no tapping points about the overwind stage, so yeah it's literally 250 and 0 is what it's rated for. So yeah, that would be 100% guys, and then all the way back down. It's a little bit stiff, it needs some work, the chain's absolutely filthy because it's been greased and it's just, yeah, attracted all that dust, nasty. So uh, what you can see in there is um, we've got the two cores. Now these are linear cores, so we've got two of them. So they're rated for 7.5 amps. So this is the uh, this is actually zero. This is a negative, and there's a 240, 250 rated for. So yeah, the power comes in this side. It then livens these two up in parallel, and then there's a neutral, and then the wires from the neutral point actually go underneath, and they go all the way back up to the power in and yeah and then the brushes the brushes here actually conduct back through these two bars on the top so that's actually a brush contact so they go back to this side and then that goes into a, a brush terminal so yeah that's how that works so yeah we'll uh, we'll power it up and I've got a um, a heater a 2000 watt heater attached to this at the moment to do a load test so we'll uh, just power this on Keeping in mind guys that uh, if you don't know what you're doing with electrics, don't go powering it on whilst, it, whilst it's open. So obviously have experience, know what you're doing before you do this kind of stuff. So wait for it. Hum. <laughs> so yeah, that's definitely on now guys, take my word for it. So yeah, the, uh, the power meter over the back there is hooked up to the output of the Variac. So when I start sliding the Variac from the 0 to the 100%, uh, it'll go up in volts and also you'll see the amps climb as well because it's currently connected to the 2 kilowatt heater. Okay guys, so I'll just uh, crank it up and you might hear some fizzles because it's not clean contacts on this because I've not really done much with it other than just put a little bit of 3 and one on it because it was actually jammed before it was stuck. So yeah, you can see the volts and the amps, there's a bit, bit of a fizzle spot. There you go. Yeah, it's not quite making good contact, so it needs cleaning. This does. It's, I don't think it's seen much maintenance in uh, many, many years. There's a bit more fizzly there. It's taking it. That's going up to five and a half amps now. Six amps. That's like seventy-five percent now. And then that's about 8 amps at its maximum voltage, which is about 204, 235-ish at the moment, 230-odd at the moment, which is a bit low for here, actually. But yeah, that's it running the 2kW uh, the heater at full load, so we'll just bring that back down now. So yeah, it works, it runs, it's nice, but it's just, it needs a lot of TLC, a lot of cleaning it up, so yeah, I'll do that. I might even get around to painting it. There's a few scratches on the outside of it, particularly on the cast ends there and there. So, yeah, I might paint it. I'm, I'm, I'm in two minds about that at the moment, but at least I'll clean it out now. I've changed the wiring because the old plug 
top and socket on it is really nasty. So that's coming right back down to zero volts now, guys. So yeah, it's a beaut. It's a big chunky beaut. <laughs> so that's a zero volt. So just switch that off now, guys. Safety first. That's it. There we go. Right, humming's gone. So yeah, that's it running. And yeah, the plug and socket, the wiring is the grey cable over there, so it's on the thin side actually. I'm not sure if that's actually the proper rated cable. It looks a bit on the one mil side where it needs to be 1.5. And also the socket is it's a really old Euro plug socket. So that, that needs changing out for something along the lines of that one over there. Or actually on Variax I do orange because it just denotes that there's something special with the socket, as in it, it goes 0 to 275 on that one, so it's special. I've wrote on there also. So orange means it does something special, whereas normal black over there means it doesn't do anything too special. So yeah, I think I'll change the wiring on it, change the plug and socket. Uh, might paint it, but definitely clean it out entirely. Brush it out with the uh, airline. Put some, uh, clean it all out. Get some proper, some it dry, some dry lube on that chain. Contact cleaner. Get rid of all the carbon out of between these uh, these windings in here, and then yeah, that would be quite good. Then that'll be running quite nicely. So yeah, the reason why these are actually so rare, guys, is probably what I'm guessing is more to do with the size of it. As you can see, this is a 15 amp, 250 volt, whereas this one over here, guess what, guys? This is also a 15 amp, 250 volts. So the actual comparison in size, you know, that's my hand in comparison with that one, and then my hand in comparison with that one, you know, this is like a quarter if not less of the size, this one, so you can see why those ones are much more desirable taking up less space there than this one here but uh, this one will have the obvious advantage of this one can take a lot more punishment, you know, there's a lot more thermal mass there to it so it'll take a lot longer to warm up and also because of the thermal mass, the size of it, it actually dissipates heat a lot better than that one over there and you can motor drive this one a little bit easier because it's already got a chain and gears and things like that in it. So that's that's interesting. So maybe these are more of the automotive, no, not automotive, but automated type um, setups more. But yeah, they're quite rare anyway. So I thought I better pick one up before they become extremely extinct. So yeah, just put the covers back on it. So yeah, got a few scratches on it. It's a little bit out of shape. It needs uh, straightening back up again, guys. So. That's something else I'll also do on that. Get it back into shape, get it looking nice and new again. You know, then just uh, try and get somewhere to put it because it does take an awful lot of space up. But on the plus side, you can mount it vertically, you can mount it underneath somewhere under a bench, you know, and you can just have it there humming away and control it remotely with a uh, forward reverse motor setup and a couple of V voltage nanometer gauges just so you can see what you're actually doing. So yeah, it would make a nice uh, out of the way type Variac which can take an awful lot of punishment. Something that I might put in my um, power power racks, panels type thing. So yeah, that is uh, the 15 amp linear Variac guys. Uh, model number actually, so I haven't read that out yet. It's a Burko Regavolt model 5C and it's actually serial, probably that might be a 7. There's a terminal over the top of the number for some reason, someone stuck that in there. 7494 15 amps 0 to 250 out 50 volts in uh, it looks about 19 it might even be older than that it might even be 1960s this one because as you can see like the that what's supposed to be black is faded into brown and that's the same one the nameplate on this side is also faded out and it's looking pretty old but it could it might not be it could be 80s could even be 90s but I, ha I highly doubt it I'm thinking more 60s 70s looking this one so yeah, but yep, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do a few more videos on this later on, guys. When I've got it in more of a repaired sort of maintained state, this is just how I got it. This is well done a little bit of work on it, I've put a bit of oil in it to make it run, and I've opened it up just to have a look inside. But this is practically how I got it, guys. So yep, yeah. very cool and. Uh, Check again guys for the uh, upcoming videos on this and you'll see it in a much better state. So yep, I hope you all enjoyed guys and I'll, uh, I'll see you all again in the next videos. Okay, cheers, bye.